So there is another way we can apply del to a vector field. Before we did del dotted with a vector field, and that was the divergence. Now we're going to do del crossed with a vector field, and this is called the curl. So we need to look a little bit carefully about mathematically how do we take the curl. And you think we know, we've talked a lot about the cross product that f, for example, is q v cross b. We talked extensively about what that means. That means the magnitude of v times the magnitude of b times the sine of the angle between them. And then you get the direction by the right hand rule, right? Well, here we need to go a more sophisticated mathematical definition um, of the cross product. We need to really do it at the more fundamental sort of vector level. So because we're dealing with something that's not a real vector, you know, we don't have two vectors that we visualize, we have, we have uh, the, the del operator. So we can uh, also define it like this. If we have del cross with a vector field V, that's equal to the determinant of a matrix where you put I, J, and k first, and then you put the first thing, in this case not a vector, but an operator, d dx, d dy, d dz, and then you put the second one. In this case, it's what goes on the i hat, vx, what goes on the j hat, vy, k hat, vk, keeping in mind those can be functions of x, y, and z. Those are not constants, even though I'm writing them like that. So if you really want to get into this, you got to know how to take that determinant. So you say i hat times this times this, cross, or minus this and this, and then j hat this, this, minus this, this, and k hat this, this, minus this, this, although there was a minus on the j hat. So it's this pattern. Maybe you've seen it before. I won't belabor it because it's math. But if we really wanted to write this all the way out, we would see that it is on i hat, it's d, v, k, or what, k, z dvz dy minus dvy dz. That's the i hat component. And then when you move over one, you always have to go uh, negative. So you'd say minus, give one way to do it, um, dvz dx. And uh, uh, minus dvx dz, and that is j hat, and then plus, now we're doing k hat, so we're plus, minus, plus, and then dvy dx minus uh, uh, dvx dy. There you go. And eventually you sort of memorize the patterns there. So you can see what's interesting about the cross product is all these partials, it's never, you know, x, y, or z's function with itself. It's always the partials of like the v, z component. But the v, z part of the field must have a y component, or the, the v, x must have a z component. So it's all, the, mate, the um, determinant mixes them up like that. So that's how we find, get it down to individual components if we need to do that.